Hey guys, this is Jesse. Welcome to OldPocketKnives.com. Stick around, got some cool stuff for you. Hey everybody, this is Jesse from OldPocketKnives.com and uh, today I wanted to share part one of a collection that I purchased. Uh, this is about a third of the collection um, recently that I purchased from a gentleman in North Carolina and uh, it was his brother's knives. They were initially covered in petroleum jelly and uh, I think that was uh, pre did pretty decent in preserving them but I think it may have less, left some stains but otherwise these knives are pretty nice. Uh, they range from uh, the XX stamping from 1940 to 64 all the way to the, uh, the, the newest knife is a uh, 1970 uh, 10 dot knife. So uh, they kind of range from, from that era and uh, some very nice handle materials, different patterns, and uh, I'm gonna be showing you a few of them uh, today. So I wanted to make sure I'm gonna keep some, uh, but I'm gonna be selling most of them. So I wanted to have a documentation of the collection and um, I'm gonna share that with you today. I, I wanna mention real quick that uh, if you don't have this book, it's a great book for case knife collecting, uh, Steve Pfeiffer. And uh, I'll put a link in the show notes today for uh, a way to get uh, your hands on this book. All right, so I just wanted to quickly show you the three folding hunters here. The first one uh, has the pack of wood handles, jigged pack of, pack of wood handles. It kind of looks like bone, but it's uh, not. You can see the grain there. Um, Nice shape. They, again, none of these uh, blades have ever been sharpened, it appears. Uh, ten dots, as you can see there, so it dates this from 1970. Pattern number on the back, 6265 SAB. SAB indicates that the blade is saber ground. Uh, this knife and the other one are pretty similar, uh, but really beautiful stag handles on this knife. You can see it's got a 5-2, which the 5 indicates that it is a stag handle knife. And this one, can you see that? Mm, kind of, yeah, 10 dots there as well. So this is also from 1970. Real nice looking knife. And the last one, similar, but it's a bit older. Stag handles again. Really nice gnarly stag on the back, a little stress crack there. But once again, 5265 SAB. And can we see any dots? No dots, 1965 to 1969 it is. And um, again, a little bit of like staining on the blade, I think due to the petroleum jelly. Uh, but overall, very nice knife as well. All right, so a few Barlows came with uh, this collection as well. You can see the nice red bone, saw cut handles, uh, 10 dot. And uh, this configuration allows a one-armed person to use the edge of a table or something to, to open up the blade. So that's kind of a unique thing. Uh, on the back, you can see 62009R and indicating razor. but nice looking knife for sure. This one is even older. This is a 1940 to 1964. Uh, this is the Case XX stamp, as you can see there. On the back, 62009 is the pattern number. Again, love these saw cut bone handles. There's your Barlow. All right, so this collection also came with some 47 patterns. The 47 refers to the handle, and it's the curved serpentine. Uh, three out of the four are stockmen, but it also can be other configurations, including the pen. This is a 1940 to 64 um, pen knife here with the uh, early stamping, nice jig bone handles. And on the back, you can see the blade has some tarnish, uh, but it's the 06247 pen stamp. Pretty neat looking knife. Uh, this right here is the uh, Stockman version of that, the three blades. You can see it has the four flesh only on the spay blade. 
and uh, no dots indicating 65 to 69 is the date. Nice stag handles on that. And if you take a look at the stamp, uh, it is a 5347 HP. By the way, HP is the blade configuration. Uh, the P stands for the spay blade, and the sheep's foot is the H. So they use the second letter of those to come up with the HP. These two knives are pretty much the exact same. Uh, they are the Stockman Jig Bone. You can see it's got 10 dots here, 1970. It has the tested XX Rager ed Edge Etch on the blade. And uh, nice looking red or reddish bone handles. And um, it has those stainless steel blades. You can see they're not as shiny as the previous couple. But that's a nice looking knife there. And this is the pretty much the exact same knife, 1970 10 dot Stockman. Okay, so these, uh, so this collection came with some of the 63 patterns. Uh, that is this equal end uh, pen knife, and uh, sometimes called the Eisenhower knife because Dwight Eisenhower was said to. Um, uh, carry one of these and really like this pattern so the name kind of stuck but you can see this is the case xx stainless usa uh, 1965 to 69 and the stamping is 06263 the other one is pretty much exactly the same again very nice condition red bone handles and stainless usa this one actually has the SSP stamp on it. You can see that. And finally, I am partial to the stag handled Eisenhower. Very cool looking knife. Uh, also that same 65 to 69 stamp, Case XX Stainless USA, along with the pattern number 05 indicating the stag, and then again the 63 pattern. I like this one. Real nice. And what could be a case collection without some canoes? Uh, so uh, I did a separate video on this one, basically digging it out from all the nasty petroleum jelly that was on that knife. Uh, but we have uh, two red jig bone and two stag. This one has beautiful handles. I love this one. This one's a 10 dot, 1970. Look at that stag, looking good. And the 52131, so the 3-1 pattern was the canoe. Uh, another one here with the 1965-69 to 69 stamp, stag handles as well. Oh yeah, look at that stag on the back, looking good. Again, some staining, but overall nice shape. Uh, these two are the jig bone handles, 10 dots on these, nice red jig bone, unsharpened as they all are, and this is a 62131, six indicating the bone handles, and you guessed it, one more, <clears throat> 10 dot, red jig bone, 62131, couldn't you? Okay, and a few to finish up part one of the collection. Um, we have the ever-popular ever Copperhead, which is very cool. Beautiful looking knife, 10 dots, 1970. I don't think this one's coming out of the collection. I'm keeping this one. Uh, we have six, two, four, nine. We have a couple of Sodbusters, Sodbuster Jr. here with the 10 dots, 1970. This is a stainless version, a 2137. And we have the 10 dot Sodbuster, good old fashioned big guy here. And uh, 2138 would be the pattern number on that one. Uh, this is a very nice large Stockman, Case XX, 
Jig Bone Handles. Can you see that little, what I think is a tiny stress crack in the middle there from that center pin? Uh, it's so small, but it's there, huh? Yeah, you can see it goes through the bottom. But anyway, beautiful looking knife. Unsharpened. Has some staining here and there. But 1940 to 64. Don't see that very often. And uh, you can see, some, again, some staining. But it is 6392, so that 92 version. So this is kind of like the large stockman, I believe it's referred to as. The large stockman. And we have, last but not least for today, again, part one only. Uh, we have the 31 Case XX, really nice, smooth black, uh, saber ground blade, as you can see, SAB, 31 SAB, saber ground blade, jackknife, pretty cool. And by the way, did I mention that you should get this book? It's a very cool book. And again, I have links to uh, some ways to get a hold of it um, in the show notes at the bottom. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting or helpful or entertaining. Um, thanks for checking these knives out. I will be selling most of them uh, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, stay tuned for part two and uh, maybe three as well. And you can see there's some really cool stuff left. Uh, but again, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and happy collecting.